Hello YouTube, welcome again to another review, a pseudo review. Um, this is a review of the K-Fun, or Kai-Fun, or kai Fun from, I believe it's, is it from Greece? Most of the good stuff's from Greece these days, I'll go with that. Anyway, I bought this thing on the classifieds on UK Vapors, and excuse the mod... Uh, the mod atty look is just not good here, but I usually have this on the Morph 2, which is the only uh, the only tube mod that I have. Um, anyway, K-Fun, this is the brushed, is it brushed? No, it's not brushed, it's uh, semi-polished. And you can get these from Cloud9 Vaping, and quite frankly they are extortionate. But, that's why I bought it on classifieds for relatively cheap, but the thing is with these things, they are extremely well built. This, if you, I mean, there's loads of reviews on these, so I'm not going to go into it entirely, but this thing, I mean, if you put this on a 22mm mod, let me just, uh, I've got no editing, apologies, just trying to get these videos done, oh god. I mean it looks alright. If that was polished it would look amazing. I did try and get a polished one but alas I have to deal with this. Anyway it's 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 the most superior atty that I construction wise that I've come across and as soon as you get used to it it's amazing. It does exactly what it says on the tin. It doesn't hold much juice, but I don't really care. I vape two mils, three mils a day. If I go out, maybe I vape during the day, or most of it, and then after that I go out and, uh, excuse me, refill. Now to refill these, there is a check valve, or for non-engineering kind of people, it's called a uh, non-return valve. So it means that you only get liquid one way. So there's a valve here, you fill it, put that in, squeeze, and it fills directly into the chamber as long as you do that. Well, turn it upside down. Anyway, so that's running at 3.7 actually now. Put it back over. I do have a kick and the Segeli ripoff which is uh, in my opinion a ripoff anyway check another video for that so this is running 2.7 ohms I've got a micro nano coil in this which is a coil made with a syringe as a jig you use the syringe as a jig and put it round and then you connect it all up directly over the air hole with cotton wick cotton wick oh my god it wicks like no wick I've ever used before uh, this is my own formulation of juice it's a mental formulation it took me about five hours to formulate this stuff this is there's a lot of VG in it some PG just to get the consistency right um, and there's popcorn flavor, there is caramel flavor, there is dolce de leche, uh, all available from the Perfumer's Apprentice, or you can get really good caramel flavor. Where did I find good caramel flavor before? Um, maybe maybe flavor art. Anyway. So, this juice, unbelievable. I'm running it, it's 2.7 ohm it's registering here. Um, I haven't actually metered it recently. And I've, this has been going for quite a while. I put about four tanks through this, but I had to change the wick halfway through. Because cotton wick, it does... Uh, anyway, so I'm running this now at 9 watts. 2.7 ohm, 9 watts. With this awesome liquid. And it's a vapor king. If you take this out to clubs, 
you take this out uh, you're vaping outside because most of the time you do have to vape outside these days if I go into a club the best way to go into a club and vape is actually to see the owner of the club if he's around or see the bouncers that are around and say look I'm, I smoke electronic cigarettes I mean I don't know is it okay if I have a seat and uh, have a couple of pints and, and, and just smoke out with my electronic cigarette with my friends is that okay don't, don't don't say it like that especially when you look like me with a bald head a face that's just asking for a, a punch anyway so yeah as long as you're respectful and you don't go blowing vapor everywhere and causing disruption and blah blah, blah. it's okay for me it's been okay but it's a di people have different experiences in different clubs and anyway and of course Weatherspoons is out of the question I was at the bar in Weatherspoons the other day um, and one of my mates said oh what's that oh, you, do you want to give us a give us a shot give us a show so I showed it him and yeah and this was with this with this juice as well it creates a shed load of vapor there's water and alcohol in there this is 2.7 ohms at 9 watts if I put it down to 7.5 7 watts If I try and get this thing onto voltage, if it will, come on, baby. Okay, 4.2 volts. I don't really know how to change the watts and volts on these yet. And I bought them one month ago, so God knows. Right, so 4.2 volts it's at. So 4.2 is your maximum battery. You just run it on a normal battery. That's amazing. And if I put it down to 3.7, which is your nominal voltage for your battery. Hell of a lot of vapor. And you can fill <coughs> you can fill a small room with vapor with this thing. I was in here doing some work because I do actually do work here as well, unfortunately. Um, and I was vaping, vape, 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 vape. And you really don't notice how much vapor is actually fill, filling the room. And uh, okay, I went downstairs. I got a cup of coffee. Came up back upstairs. And the whole my hall here, the whole hall was full of uh, kind of a, a haze I walked into this room I was like bloody hell and the sun was out the sun comes right through these windows and you could see the the light coming from the window the sun and I was like bloody hell I need to open a window in here you know anyway so that's the K fun I think it's amazing as, as soon as you set it up right uh, you get the right liquid in it as well is important if you run PG or if I've run PG through this before and you don't get the wick right then uh, you do get flooding but I, I don't have flooding very often if I'm on a plane and I'm traveling I thought this thing would flood to hell I put it this way I put it that way during the press pressure changes nothing no flooding whatsoever I've had a bit come out of the check valve the, uh, the non-return valve um, but that's probably just because it's full of juice and if you don't clean it out very often then the I don't know whether it's a ball bearing inside probably the ball bearing will stick whatever uh, especially if it's a thick juice or a sweet juice then it will um, what else what else K fun it's good in my opinion uh, an amazing mod and it's solid as hell I've dropped this thing I've got dings all over it 
and nothing happened. The This insert here, you can actually get it in stainless as well. I've got a stainless one, but it means I can't read how much vapors in it, how much uh, juices in it, so I don't do that. Uh, what else, what else, what else? Yeah, when I dropped it, the thread just moved slightly. So what I did is I unscrewed it and screwed it back on again. Perfect. Anyway, I'm over 10 minutes here. So I'm out. I think go 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 yes yes